Okay, so the Home tab is where you'll spend generally most of your time. Uh, the Home tab includes most formatting properties, including font type, size, color, as we noted. The background color is here. Uh, we'll take a look at the text alignment. So if it's aligned within the cell from top, middle, bottom, left, center, right. From here, we can also change the format of numbers. We can say we want it to be formatted as a dollar sign or a percent and other preloaded formats. We can also insert various rows and columns as well as a sheet here and delete various rows, columns, and sheets here. Going on to the Insert tab, the Insert tab is going to give us the option to, as you may have guessed, insert a bunch of different things, such as a pivot table, which is over here and groups all together. You might want to insert a picture into your file or a shape of various shapes and sizes. You might also, uh, and most likely what you'll be using this tab for, is include a chart in your analysis. Here in the Insert tab is where you'll be able to select several different types of charts that you want to add to your file. And then the other uh, helpful tools over here are inserting an equation. So if you insert an equation like this, it'll preload certain equations that you might want to put into your file. And you can also put in symbols. So here, this is where I typically choose uh, the delta sign, or because we are on a Mac, we can choose some nice emojis. Um, and that is accessed up here through symbol on the insert tab. Now, draw is actually a new tab in Excel 2016. And to be honest, I have actually never used any of this functionality. Uh, but presumably, if you wanted to mark something up or draw a little high or whatever you want to draw, you can do that uh, using the Draw tab. Okay. The Page Layout tab includes page layout options. It also allows you to choose different themes for the Excel file that you're working in, similar to how you would see in PowerPoint if you're familiar with that software. You can also indicate which color scheme you want and change it pretty quickly here. Page layout will also allow us to uh, adjust the settings for when we actually want to view this for printing purposes. So we might want to change our margins. We might want to uh, insert a page break. This will allow us to do this here from page layout. Going on to the Formulas tab, this includes most of the options related to function and formula making. So here we can insert a function. So if you click this, then you'll see on the right here, the Formula Builder pops up. And from here, you can use a lot of these uh, pre-populated uh, formulas, which you can then build right within this Formula Builder. I suggest kind of using this as you get more and more familiar with the functions. And when you're really familiar with them, you won't have to use this formula builder anymore, um, but it does help you to understand where all of the arguments are coming from for the formulas, which you will see later on today. Additionally, you can change the calculation settings. Uh, you can indicate if you want automatic except for data tables or manual, which we'll talk about a little bit uh, later. Going on to the data tab, this includes options to manipulate and analyze data. So we can pull in data from various database queries and refresh that data over here. Uh, most commonly used, at least from my perspective, is sorting data. So you can sort it alphabetically very quickly using these buttons, sorting uh, based on how you want to sort it, filtering, uh, and then uh, adjusting your filter settings here. We can also take data and transform it from text input to columns, which is pretty powerful if you're copying and pasting some data and bringing that in. 
We can also look at data validation, make sure that the data that we have is in the right format that we want it to be. And from here, we can run goal seek and data table. Both of those are pretty helpful, especially as we're analyzing various pieces of data. On the review tab, uh, the kind of three most common uses for the review tab are checking spelling. Uh, so clicking on that will, just like if you were on Word, do a spell check. And for us, we're good to go. We are all spelled correctly. Here you can also update uh, your sheet to include a comment in particular cells. You'll see that later today. And then you can also protect your workbook and your worksheet uh, with a password at various levels of security. Lastly, on the View tab, which we've already started taking a look at, you can decide how you want to view the file. So I typically am in the normal view, uh, but you might want to see how it looks like if we're printing it. So you might choose a different view here. You might not like seeing the grid lines. So here you can uncheck or check them off if you prefer to see them. You can also change your zoom uh, settings. So right now I'm at 250%, but I'm typically at 100% when I'm working on a file. And then we'll go into this later on today, but we'll be able to freeze panes and split panes as well. Almost had to sneeze there. Uh, and then you can also record macros, um, but I don't use this all that frequently.